So I just want to mention, um, because we're recommending higher fats, uh, some people get concerned about their cholesterol. Um, the evidence is out there thoroughly. Um, it's been totally fabricated that cholesterol is a bad thing. Your body makes 2,000 milligrams every single day. Um, all your cells make cholesterol. If it was so bad, then why doesn't this 2,000 milligrams, that's like eating a lot of eggs, why doesn't that create a problem? It doesn't because the function of cholesterol um, actually heals the lesions of the heart. When the heart breaks down because of excess sugar or stress, it gets a lesion. It gets a little sore in there. Well, guess what? Cholesterol comes in and heals it. So this is why people uh, think or have this illusion that it's clogging up my arteries. Well, you had a lesion. Your body's just trying to put a Band-Aid on it. Um, telling someone that cholesterol will clog your arteries or the, is the cause of your clogged plaquing arteries is like telling someone that the white blood cells are the cause of your infection. It's not. The infection attracts the white blood cells. Okay? So the other thing is that cholesterol is not even a fat. It's a, it's a type of alcohol. And even the cholesterol that's measured in your blood, uh, LDL, HDL, those are high-density lipoproteins. They're not even cholesterol. They're protein carriers. Um, so one of the purposes of cholesterol is it makes hormones, it makes stress hormones, it makes sex hormones, okay? Uh, it makes vitamin D. It's a precursor for your bile to help you break down fats and absorb nutrients. It's for the immune system. People that go on a low-fat, low-cholesterol diet have a lot of immune issues, and they're always hungry, too. Uh, cholesterol replaces the cell uh, structures. A lot of your body is made from cholesterol, including the brain. Uh, intestinal health. You know, when I used to, uh, at one time I was a vegetarian and I was the sickest I've ever been with my digestion. I couldn't digest all those foods. But when I went to more heavier fats, oh my gosh, my, my intestines just, you know, got better. And that's because a lot of the foods with cholesterol, like butter and coconut oil, uh, feed the microbes in your gut. Think about the main food for the microbes is ca called butyric acid. Yes, butyric acid is the byproduct of eating fiber, but it's also in butter. Feeds the microbes. Um, okay, so we have serotonin. Uh, cholesterol is made to help serotonin function, all right? And chole consuming cholesterol does not cause heart disease, and also consuming cholesterol does not increase cholesterol. That's the facts of, of cholesterol, and that is not myth. It's been proven. And so you don't have to be afraid of it anymore.